Good morning everyone. Welcome to BHL 204 Accommodation Operation class for second year. We are going to have a conversation about layout of laundry today. Now you have already learned in theory classes about laundry cycle, about laundry activities, machineries, laundry agents etc. Today we are going to put that knowledge into use and we are going to design a very efficient laundry. So let's take a quick look at the objective of this class. By the end of today's class, we'll try to understand how do we consider and decide the location, size, utilities, machine layouts, labor requirement and safety and accident related features to design a efficient and effective laundry. Let's start our conversation with the location of our laundry in the hotel. Where should we set it up? If I have three options, the upper level of the hotel building, the ground level and the basement, which one should we choose? Before getting into that, let me tell you, uh, OPL or on-premises laundry is going to be full of heavy machineries like tumble dryer, calendaring machine, the industrial size a big washer extractor and while these things are operational they're going to generate a lot of uh, vibration this vibration may hurt the integrity of the structure of your building now if you are placing your heavy machineries at the top floor of your building obviously it is not going to be good for the structure so the first option is a big no-no then comes the ground level Obviously, ground level is strong enough to take the weight of the machineries. It's surely not going to hurt the hotel building by the, uh, because of the vibration. But ground level of a hotel is a prime location. You can sell it as a lounge. You can sell it as a banquet hall. You can set up a bar over there. And all these different kind of outlets are going to earn more money. More revenue will get generated. So ground level is not a good option either. Then the last option is basement and basement is a suitable option because basement is also away from the guest room. So if you are setting up your laundry in the basement, you are not disturbing the guests who are there in the guest rooms. So a well ventilated guest room, obviously you have to ensure the ventilation by artificial manners, but a properly designed basement is going to be a great location for your laundry at the end of the day. Well, if your location is decided, next let's talk about the architectural features. Just like your linen room, your laundry should also have very sturdy, durable floors. You can use something like Kota stone or maybe a cemented flooring. Why it is so important to have a sturdy and durable floor? Of course, because you are going to have very heavy machinery set up in the same area. At the same time, there will be a lot of trolleys moving around inside your laundry, full of either soiled or fresh clothes. And in both the scenarios, with the heavy machineries or with the heavy trolleys, you don't want the flooring of your laundry to get damaged. How can you avoid that? By picking up durable and sturdy material. At the same time, please keep in your thoughts that it should be easy to clean, easy to drain out of water in case of any kind of leakage. Next thing is the wall. Wall should be moisture resistant and they should be durable too. Maybe um, a great option or good choice of wall material for a laundry is going to be white uh, wall tiles. They are easy to wash, they are moisture resistant, at the same time they are quite durable. When it comes to the ceiling, again a preferable ceiling height should be 10 feet. It should be moisture resistant. At the same time, a blank ceiling is always preferred. You don't want any kind of leakage to happen from uh, water pipes going through the ceiling or, or the steam pipes going through the ceiling. The size of laundry get determined majorly by how much of fabric you are going to process in a day. 
Now, which all places do you get this fabric or linen from? Obviously, linen can be broadly categorized into guest room linen, table linens, and linens from other departments like spa, gymnasium, etc. So, if you have more guest room in the hotel, automatically you will have to have a bigger size of a laundry. In a similar manner, if you have a higher occupancy percentage through year, or if you have a lot of back-to-back check-ins and check-out, uh, like in a airport hotel, you will be needing a bigger size of a laundry. Similarly, too many FNB outlets or banquet halls are also going to increase the amount of table in a new process in a day. In all these scenarios, there will be a requirement for a bigger laundry for the hotel. In a similar manner, another big factor that will affect the size of your laundry is your choice of equipments. The type and the capacity of laundry equipment you are going to use is going to decide how much area you are going to need for your laundry. If you have bigger equipment with a higher capacity or if you have equipments like a tunnel washer which is very efficient and can process a lot of fabric at the same time, you may need a smaller size of a laundry. At the same time, what is your hotel's policy when it comes to processing your guest laundry? Do you have an option of giving express laundry services to your guest? Depending on these factors also, the size of your laundry will be varying. Well, after finalizing the location of our laundry and deciding what should be the size of our laundry, and learning about the architectural features we must keep in our mind while designing our laundry. Now let's quickly make a list of selection criteria we must keep in our mind when it comes to the selection of our laundry machines and equipments. The first point we should consider is ease of operation. Who want a machine that is very complicated? If it is too complicated to use, you need to send your staff for a training session also. So ease to operation is one thing that is very, very important. If it is easy to uh, operate your machines, you will not only save on labor cost, you will also save on the training cost for your labors. Next thing we must keep in our mind is the versatility of your machine. Previously, when you used to choose laundry machines, normally uh, the washing machine and the hydro extractor used to be two different machines. So you are basically loading your dirty linen twice, once in your washing machine, second time in your hydro extractor. And that causes wastage of time. Modern day washer extractors can do both the job of washing the linen and extracting the extra water at the same time in the same machine so this machine is much more versatile isn't that better next thing we must talk about the durability a better brand of machine is probably going to give you better durability at the same time you may get a better after sale service it will be easy for you to get the spare parts and there will be ema- enough number of people around who are trained properly to give you those after sale service and and they can help you with the fixing of any kind of problem if that occurs with your machine isn't that great so keeping all these factors together in your mind then only make a decision of choosing your laundry machines and at the same time the capacity of your laundry machines as we have already had a conversation about points to be considered while selecting your laundry machine Now let's decide how should you position the laundry machines and equipments. First of all, laundries are supposed to have only one entrance and exit for the security and safety purposes. Make sure while you're positioning your laundry machines that entrance or exit is not getting blocked. At the same time, keep your laundry machines away from the columns and beams and also from the adjacent walls. Because if they are too close to these areas, the vibration of the machines uh, may disturb the integrity of the columns, beams or of the wall. 
at the same time there should be enough area between two adjacent machine that way it's it is easy to service the machines and also it is easy to clean the area between two adjacent machines or area between the machines and the walls there should be sufficient number of uh, power points for electrical supplies also the other major points to be considered while positioning the equipments are the water supply lines water softening plant if there is one you should be close to that at the same time drainage pipes also needed to be kept in the original design for an efficient outcome we should also consider energy and water conservation when it comes to our laundry machine setup and selection criteria that's why a laundry should have machines of various sizes so when we have a full load or a big heavy load we can use the heavier capacity machines at the same time if we have lesser load we have smaller machines to process those also we also need to keep in our mind the safety factors like there should be enough number of fire extinguisher in the area the laundry machine should be only handled by the trained laundry staff when it comes to the security feature we need to ensure that nobody who is not authorized is not entering in our laundry and there should be enough space for the staffs to walk even during the busiest time of the day depending on the size of the property and type of service the hotel is providing we need to choose the laundry equipments and also the laundry staff at the same time we need to ensure that the employee schedule for your laundry is clear enough now before going any further let's quickly sum up what we have learned till now or what are the basic factors we should keep in our mind before starting our laundry design well first thing is smooth workflow how can we ensure that simply by avoiding any kind of cross trafficking and ensuring that there is enough space for the movement of all the trolleys and the people who are working inside your laundry second important point we need to keep in our mind is the correct choice of laundry equipments and machineries if it is easy to load and unload the machine it is going to save time at the same time employee efforts also the it will reduce the turnaround time between loads as a result we will save money in terms of man hour and man power third very important point we should consider is the amount of guest laundry we are going to process whether we will provide a express laundry service or not or if our laundry will have the dry cleaning service available with us or not once we have answer for these questions we can easily make a decisive decision about the fact that whether we need a separate section in our laundry for guest uh, laundry processing or you are going to process guest laundries in the same machine which are used for processing the hotel linens last but another very important point to be kept in our mind is that we need to ensure all the permits required to operate our laundry should be in place before we start making our layout In most of Indian states a industrial laundry will come under shops and establishments act so before finalizing our laundry layout we need to ensure all the necessary permits are in place time to put our theoretical knowledge into use and let's take a quick look at this simple sample laundry layout you can see there is only one entry and exit for the laundry that is because simply we want the security and safety of all the articles that's getting processed inside the laundry so from the exchange counter with linen room all the dirty linen comes into linen hamper and goes to the linen collection area from where all the article that need immediate attention for stain removal goes to the spotting area then fabric goes to washer extractor where it gets washed all the extra moisture gets extracted and thrown out and then 
the fabric that needs to be dried completely goes to the tumble dryer. For example, all the bath linens first go to the tumble dryer, then onto the walk table for being folded. Once they are folded, they may get rested for some time on the shelf and again they go back into the linen room for circulation. Fabrics like bed sheet and pillow cover, table linen will need ironing. And all these articles are flat in nature. So directly from moisture extractor, this article will go to the calendaring machine or to the flat work ironer. Once they are ironed, they will be folded, again stored or rested for some time and back into the linen room for circulation. When it comes to guest laundry, there can be a request of dry cleaning. So most of the OPLs will have a dry cleaning machine too. And again, when it comes to the guest uniform uh, or guest clothing or staff uniform, you may need a steam press or a hot head to iron all those uh, clothing materials properly. That is pretty much all about the simple layout we are looking at. Last but not least, we must consider the positioning of a laundry supervisor's desk. Preferably keep it into an area from where all the staff working in the laundry will be easily visible. Laundry agent should be stored in one cupboard or in a small area which must be there in under lock and key. Keep in your mind once again while you are placing all these different machines and other areas inside your laundry. There should be enough gap between two adjacent machines and there should be enough gap or space in between the wall and the laundry machines. That's all about this particular sample layout. While you are going to design your own layout, keep one thing in your mind. No design is wrong till the time you are following all the thumb rules properly. Before finishing this particular chapter, let's take a quick look at signs of improper planning when it comes to a laundry. If you are doing a last minute rash job, there is a chance you are not going to get the best outcome. A pile of unprocessed linen or linen shortage which may, which may always occur if you are having a, all, a lot of unprocessed linen. Or if your staffs are working overtime in your laundry. Or if you are having a lot of staff who are causing overcrowding in the workspace. All of it comes down to one sign and one sign only. That your proper planning is somehow missing when it comes to your laundry. So keep the thumb rules in your mind, design your laundry logically, and then move forward. Thank you all for listening to me. Well, that's all for today. Happy learning and see you for the next topic.